Hello and welcome. I'm George Malin, the Managing Editor of IoT Now. Today we're talking about integrated SIM with four of the companies collaborating to make iSIM simpler for enterprises and OEMs to deploy at scale. I will be talking to Vincent Korshtanya, the CEO of Keegan, Mehul Udani, the Vice President of Corporate Technology and Innovation at Marata, Dima Feldman, the Vice President of Product Management at Sony Semiconductor Israel, and Mark Sauter, the Head of IoT Product Management at Vodafone Business. In the conversations, we'll understand their company's roles in helping customers realize the benefits of iSIM. So let's not hang about and start the conversation with our first speaker. Hi, Vincent. Uh, what have been some of the new learnings informed by iSIM customer journeys so far? Hi, George. Uh, great to talk to you. Um, so yes, we started uh, the iSIM journey um, probably around five years ago to in order to transform the industry and make uh, connectivity a lot easier while making security a lot stronger. And since then, we have learned you now three major lessons. I think the first one is we simplified the way we enable iSIM with something called a secure iSIM package, which is a digital delivery that enables both security and connectivity at the point that the device maker or OEM needs it. It is a pure digital delivery, which enables the hardware that's already there. Now, to make sure this all works seamlessly for the device maker, it's really important that the four parties you're interviewing today, uh, chip, module, connectivity, and SIM maker, work together, together very strongly to support the device maker, to make their journey into enhanced product offerings a lot easier. The second thing we've learned is battery life is important. Now, we kind of knew this already, but it was really nice to see how important battery life is in some of the specific segments. For instance, water meters are probably one of the most challenging products, and they expect to run for 10, 15, or 20 years. And even the management of the device needs to be done very, very frequently because any activity on the device will burn battery life. So this is where iSIM comes in really well. It really now enables that absolute maximum running time, running years to be uh, extended compared to now normal solutions. And last but not least, we also know that iSIM provides a smaller footprint. This we knew, but actually what we didn't quite understand was the ability of iSIM to reduce complexity. No more SIM tray, that's obvious, but actually the whole SKU management and supply of SIMs disappears. Uh, this is a ordering time, import tax, and many other components which will all feed into a reduced bill of material cost and an overall cost of the device. So, because this is a digital delivery and we're removing some of the components that uh, are separate, are now integrated into the radio, the hardware is already present. And with this digital secure iSIM package, we're going to simplify and speed up production of connected devices. So, um, what does the typical customer journey look like for a device maker wanting to adopt iSIM technology? Um, so I think there are two typical uh, customer journeys. Uh, one is a uh, customer that's already using cellular. Uh, they're probably looking for a product shrink, smaller product, or maybe removing some of the complexity, or maybe about the battery life. And then you have those that come from Wi-Fi and looking for a product that works seamlessly everywhere. Um, I think that generally they have the same demands. They would like to have a you know, limited space in their design. They want to keep it simple. Now, the first hand step takes to be to select the right module. Uh, but then when you are taking a design from Wi-Fi into cellular, um, you are really having to think about uh, what was regulation come into it? How do we increase security? Uh, security is an absolutely number one demand of the device maker and the OEM. Uh, but also the MNOs have a big concern to make sure that the devices that connect to their network are really secure. So on the one hand, we're opening up many advanced use cases because now having cellular connectivity allows you to connect worldwide, and that is really good. But obviously those um, uh, advanced use cases need to be super secure. And that's where now our secure iSIM package really comes to the forefront. Obviously those use cases are also driving the demand of connectivity requirements, which tends to maybe start locally, but definitely has to be designed to scale to the, wor the world. So the connectivity providers, they, uh, they choose tend to be those they can you now work with for, a lot, for the long term. Um, and again, it comes back to what the lessons we had on the previous time is also, also these advanced use cases um, are more complicated, uh, but that is really important that they get the help of the ecosystem. And those four companies in this case uh, are strongly joined up in a solution that just makes it easy and unleashes their 
possibility to innovate. Great. Thanks, Vincent. Hi, Mehul. What are the key design and manufacturing considerations that iSIM technology serves for device innovation? Yeah, George, uh, nice to talk to you. I think that the key benefits of uh, iSIM for us and for our customers is one is the space. So with the use of iSIM, we are able to reduce the total system design size that our customer has to do. And this is to address the challenges that our customer face when they are designing ultra small products, wearable products that needs a very small size. And that's where our module with the iSIM plays a significant role. Uh, we are able to reduce the size of overall system design 20 to 30%. And that size uh, makes it also easy in terms of manufacturing as well, because instead of putting SIM card externally and they have to mount it on the PCB, it's all integrated into a single package. So from a logistics and manufacturing perspective, uh, for our customers, it's also simplified. Could you show me uh, the Murata module and demonstrate the scale of an ISIM, please? Yeah, uh, sure. Um, so, George, what I'm holding is our module next to a traditional SIM card. A and uh, you can see our module is not only smaller than the SIM card, but we've been able to include the IC from Sony Semiconductor, a complete RF front end, um, it also has a capability of embedded microcontroller. So we have packed in about 80 some components into a single package. So our module itself becomes the system for our customers. And, and what, what all this translates into is a, a final product design optimization that's extremely low power, very high level of security, and a flexible connectivity management uh, with the support from Vodafone and extended battery life. And ultimately all that translates into is a faster time to design, leading to faster time to market, as well as faster time to revenue for our customers. Great, thanks Vedal, it was really nice talking to you. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you, George. Hi Dima, how is iSIM technology changing the way IoT delivers value to businesses? Hi, hi, George. I think ICM is a great technology, and in my eyes, it has a huge potential to bring uh, new business models and the way people use their IoT devices. In our eyes, ICM is a modern way of a plastic SIM. Instead of enabling connectivity by putting a plastic SIM inside the device, customer will load the file on the device, chip, or a module to enable connectivity. I think it's a best way today uh, to enable relay stage connectivity provisioning by the customers. So what are some of the critical technical enablers for ISIM technology today? The, I think ISIM is still in its uh, evolution process. Its uh, features are inspired both by the plastic SIM cards and ISIM. Uh, I think down the road, additional certification of the ISIM onboarding and certification is expected to allow faster and efficient Growth of the IoT technology. Great. Thanks, Dima. Great. Thank you. Hi, Mark. What are hardware manufacturers looking for from an IoT connectivity provider? Yeah, hello, George. Um, so, hardware manufacturers want reliable connectivity, connecting anything, anywhere, at any time in a secure, simple, and scalable way. This means they're looking for an IoT connectivity provider with global expertise and experience and the power to innovate. Talking about innovation, you know, iSIM, the integrated SIM, falls into that category. And we have been working with leading industry partners like Keegan, Murata, and Sony, and the GSMA to define the industry standard around iSIM. The result is a SIM which has the same security levels as you would get from a traditional, discrete, dedicated SIM hardware. And this further simplifies the manufacturing process of products with embedded IoT connectivity without compromises. So how is iSIM changing the way connected products are made and where do you see the demand? So with iSIM, we reduce the complexity and the cost in the manufacturing process of connected products. 
with ISIM being integrated into the silicon of the IoT device, rather than having the SIM as a separate additional hardware component, manufacturing get the following benefits. So they have a simplified supply chain with reduced number of components, reduced inventory, and the number of suppliers they need to manage. Second, ISIM has a lower power consumption, and third, has a reduced size. So the latter two enable new use cases in which power consumption and size are important. So for example, you can use a smaller battery in connected products which are installed in remote locations, while at the same time, you get a long battery life and a product lifetime, especially in combination with technologies like narrowband IoT or LTM. Also um, with ISIM, the device, like for example, the IoT module, directly comes with the IoT connectivity subscription embedded. So there is no need to insert SIM cards and to handle that. And um, overall, we see strong demand and traction for iSIM in markets like utilities for smart metering and street lighting, or in healthcare for remote patient monitoring, and in asset tracking with smart labels and asset monitoring. Great, Mark. Uh, that's been really interesting. Thanks very much for your time. It was really good to talk to you. Thank you very much, George. Thanks to our speakers. We're currently working on the IoT Now iSIM Handbook 2024, which contains market reports, articles, and interviews with leading participants across the iSIM ecosystem. We look forward to welcoming you to this valuable resource at www.iot-now.com. Thanks again, and goodbye. 